Alright, good day guys. Hi, I'm Olumide. Welcome to Health Talk with Olumide. Alright, so today on this episode, we're going to be talking about uh, this um, trending issue of um, bestiality. Of course, from the word bestiality, you can already tell the, um, the tell that there's beast in it. Of course, it means sexual interaction of humans with animals. So, uh, like goats, dogs, pigs, uh, horses, and uh, and all the likes like that. So, it's it's a trending issue, and so we need to get into that detail now. We need to talk about it. Uh, I said that it shows moral and uh, spiritual decadence in our youth or in the people generally. It also shows that um, there is some kind of knowledge that is uh, that is. Um, that is missing and that's one of the reasons why i'm shooting this video just to um educate uh those ones that might be thinking about going into it or that are already in it or just the general public about um, the consequences of bestiality medically now all right so um, one of those things that you expect and, and somebody that goes and um, that undergoes or that that um that is involved in this act is that the person comes down with zoonotic diseases or some other people call it zoonosis depending on your choice of uh, length of words you understand all right but i will choose zoonosis all right so zoonosis can be defined as the transmission of um should i say infection or diseases from animals to humans all right so that's one of the reasons why that's one of the things that comes up about when somebody uh, uh performs this very terrible act all right so and there are a lot of um, zoonotic diseases i'll be mentioning just a few here and one of them is um um the the common one this um rabies you know rabies is uh, this um of course we know about rabies um usually gotten from dogs but it can also be gotten from other animals 99 percent of it is from dogs all right so rabies um, and uh, it affects the uh, nervous system and so with that persons now start um coming with um, neuromuscular and uh, other kind of terrible terrible um stuffs that, that happens and another one we have is leptospirosis leptospirosis is a bacterial infection that uh, that comes from um, um that comes from secretions from animals all right so whenever somebody is uh, of course um, exposed to those secretions the person comes down with leptospirosis and if not properly treated or sometimes it can also uh, cause um, meningitis and that's a very terrible thing you don't want to know about it all right so um some other things that um, um some other uh, diseases is uh, we have the echinococcus all right so the echinococcus that's um, a parasitic infection gotten from worms the worms are gotten from animals so whenever you are exposed to uh, secretions also from these um, animals you you get echinococcus and from echinococcus it affects the brain it affects liver forms cystic cystic formation on those organs and of, of course that's terrible and uh, it would the organs would eventually not work as they should be working all right i'm trying to use simpler words just for the general public to understand all right so uh, brain liver kidneys and all of those things are affected all right so um so um that's for zoonotic diseases that i'm just i just mentioned three out of them now we'll go to some other ones we have the um we have allergic reaction allergic reactions and that's um you know when when foreign stuff enter the human body the body sees it as foreign and uh, in a bid to defend the body sometimes overreact so allergic reactions is just simply overreaction of the body against external stuff and for example now let's say the semen of all of these animals or or genital fluids from them or uh, is regarded or the body regards them as uh, foreign and now um and now tries to fight them and so in the bid to fight them it does too much and so that's very terrible for the body also that's the allergic reaction is very similar to that one we've gotten from peanuts for those that are allergic to peanuts all right so we also have another one which is kind of uh, terrible also terrible others are terrible too we have the penile cancer you know penile cancer when there is a malignant formation of malignant cells forming in the in the in the penis especially the the crown uh, so also, it also affects the shaft but mostly the crown and so you see that um the, there's cancer and if not properly treated the effect can be very fatal also also we have the high risk injury that's a, that's one of th those things we should talk about firstly self because imagine having um, sexual intercourse with something like a horse and looking at the the, the genitals of the horse very big i know it can cause perforation and in fact it's been recorded that people died from the perforation caused by uh, that gigantic uh, genital of horses and uh, also from dogs maybe the scratches or imagine the uh, horse um 
maybe uh, pressing on the person you know all of those things in fact i don't know i don't i don't have the graphic image of um, bestiality in the process but i'm just working with what i think should should be and so looking at all of those things now imagine those people that are now doing bestiality or uh, um having sex with uh, animals you see one of those things that they are liable to uh, that, that, that are prone to getting it's very terrible so uh, guys it's it's a terrible thing it's a terrible thing really and uh, ensure you don't uh, involve yourself in it uh, now thinking about it a lot of people do this for money let's leave those ones that are doing it for sexual pleasure those that are doing it for money is it worth it really now if for them um, i want to answer this question for those people that are thinking of venturing into it or thinking that it's a, it's a good it's a good way of earning uh, well aside that we are living in this part of the world where education um, healthcare sector is not really in this best position uh, it's not also worth it imagine you know imagine coming down with something like leptospirosis where it affects it causes meningitis and from there you're not properly managed or even if you are managed at all you die from it or you come down with echinococcus where um, you, you, your brain liver lungs and these things are affected you know that uh, you are in for a long run there's liver transplant is very expensive kidney transplant is very expensive brain transplant <laughs> brain transplant all right so all of those things now you see that you are you are in for a long run for all of those people that do all of that or imagine having a penile cancer in fact the thing is the truth really of the matter is that it's not worth it it's not worth it at all and there are other legit ways of getting money there are other legit ways of of um of getting feeding yourself and your family and providing for your basic need but the gory act of um reaching out to dogs and it's kind of for those for those people that are thinking of venturing into it, it's not worth it to get your mind off it, understand? And those that are thinking about it as a way of getting good money, just forget about it. It's not worth it, really. Um, all of these uh, diseases, especially the zoonotic diseases, are not worth it. The allergic reaction, people die from it. I've, I've read of a lot of people that die from allergic reaction of uh, to the cement and or the secretions from all of these animals. So it's really not worth it, uh, you know? It's better to live long. It's really better to live long, I promise you. So thank you. We have come to the end of this video. Video, please do ensure to subscribe like and share I'm sure you have learned one or two things I remain yours again holy media till we'll see you another time